Tuck your seat soul. Uh, I'm here today to show you a video of how to cast a fly line um, properly and the right technique. Um, I'm here today in sunny San Diego with my cameraman George and my nine foot Orvis rod that I was gifted so generously by my stepfather who got me into fly fishing. Um, anyway, so it's a six weight. I'll explain that in one of my blogs. And you got an Orvis reel, also six weight. They're supposed to really kind of match each other, the rod and the reel. And um, yeah, so what I got, I got this yellow neon uh, fly line with a leader on the front. And basically, what you have to do to practice is you just tie something, like it can be a rubber band, it can be um, a cotton ball, really anything that's gonna represent that weight of the fly. And um, you don't want it to have a hook on it. That's the important part. Um, yeah, so when you get started, you're gonna get your line through, and you want about six to seven feet of line at the end of the reel outside, so you can start your cast. And then you wanna have a good cushion of line next to you, right? And you're gonna hold that with your left hand while you let the line out through, very slowly through your like, between, you can hold it between your fingers like this, or you can just pinch it to the reel with your forefinger. All right, now what you wanna to do to start off, is you're gonna keep the elbow nice and close to your rib cage, okay? And you're gonna bring it back, and you're gonna stop right here, okay? And then you're gonna bring it forward, and then you're gonna stop right here, okay? And that stopping is important because you just have to imagine you're tossing the line back and forth each time. And if you don't stop, you're just gonna get this loose, very loose circle, and you're gonna get knots in your line. So you have to stop. Okay, so just remember kind of like 10 and two, like a wheel, but really you wanna do like 10 and one and a half because you're gonna go past that too. Okay, so here we go. As you, and as you start going back and forth, you let out line naturally with, like you're gonna try to get to however far you're gonna go. Okay. Back, forth, back, forth, back. And then finally, let it out. All right, and then when you start doing that, you don't ever reel in the line unless you have a fish on. You just bring it back in. Get it close enough. You get it close enough to start back up. Here we go. Two, ten, two, ten, two, ten, and let it out. And really, the important part in the beginning is you don't have to get that much line out. Really, you just need to practice a nice tight line back and forth. You're not hitting anything. You're staying above. You don't want it to touch the ground behind you and in front of you because that's going to represent the water. Okay. So let's bring it back in. You don't have to. You need to aim for. you want to try to like you can get like a hula hoop or like a stick or something and you want it to be within like a foot of the target like i'm aiming for that leaf right there and that's just a short cast remember you can go as far as you want but really in the beginning you need to focus on keeping it nice and tight and short and remember that the more accurate you are at a shorter distance means how much farther you can go right as i say in one of my blogs it's a uh, approach for sh um, dough and then drive for show so Distance doesn't really matter if you keep it non-accurate. All right, so I'll do it one more time. Elbow in, 10, two, 10, two, 10, two. Letting it out, hold the line with your left hand. Don't let that um, line go, because this is your control hand. You ready? So six feet out, bring it back. Out, 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 out. Practice here, it's really nice and simple. Bring it back. Alright, thanks for uh, tuning in and uh, check out my next video.